Hey everybody, Lev Farmer Serving 3. Today what I'm going to be doing is making a water collection system so I can water my garden. And I'm going to start with a 63 gallon pickle drum and a spigot. And I'll be able to shut the water on and off with the nozzle. Let's get to it. First, empty all the water to out of it that came from the rain. I want that nozzle right here because this is all of the, the crap catchment, leaves and crumbs and bugs or whatever else ends up down here. You don't want to make the hole too big. Okay. My rubber washer. Here like that. Just like that. Now I'm going to put the other rubber washer on the inside. Okay, I got it on the inside. Got that rubber washer in there. Now I'm going to put my locking nut on. So now my locking nut is on there. And all I got to do is get my wrench and tighten that up. All right, you guys. There you have it. Got our full water catchment system for our garden so i got this bug netting that goes that's made for these barrels that go around the barrels put that bug netting over the top just like that and now I'll take my lid and screw that back on Now we have ourselves rain catchment, bug proof and everything. I will run a relief valve at the top. So once this gets too full, the relief valve is gonna let the overflow run off and run somewhere else because you don't want the water to get as high as this net. You don't want it touching this. And the reason why you don't want that water touching this net is because the mosquitoes and the bugs land on this net and they can sow their seeds right through this net. If the water is right here, their eggs can go right through there. If they're not touching the water, they can't sow their seeds in the water. So if you've ever had a rain catchment barrel and realize that there is mosquito larvae in your barrel, it's probably because you don't have a runoff drain or it is making it so the water can hit the top and that's what's causing it. Long as that water doesn't touch this top, you will be in good shape. Just like that. So what that's gonna be, that's one barb coming from the main drum, line coming off of it like this, going into the other drum. Okay, so I made this so now all I have to do, I got both of those coming out. I'm going to add an elbow there, an elbow there, and connect those both together like this. And all I'm going to do is add two elbows like that. Just like that. gonna fit right in here like this just like that perfect you know what I think what I'm gonna do is actually run a T here anyway cuz I know I'm going to expand this system go ahead and put that T there and put a shut off on it yeah that's what I'm gonna do let me go let me go get a shut off valve that'll go on like this just like that. So that way I can drain the system or add, cut this off and add something else. So now that I got my drums in the place where I want them, now I'm gonna level out the ground and add concrete down there and smooth it and make sure it's level because I want these water levels to be the same at all times. Thank you. 
add one clip add my elbow just like that now it's in place all right y'all complete system going to both barrels emergency shutoff valve or accessory valve let's get these hooked up to the barrels permanently that's all she wrote full system there we go Okay, we got it all complete. System ran to water the garden. Taking all my five gallon buckets full of water that's just sitting around, pour it in. Look how, look how well this works. I want to show you how well this works. I got a real fine, real fine uh, grade mesh. So it's even keeping dirt out. That's exactly what I want to see. put some treatment in the water in the tank to start purifying the water and I'm going to run a, uh, a a filter system in it as well okay you guys I got it running and I'm pumping all the water out of these three tanks and I got a sump pump down there and it's almost done this was totally full so come around here so you can see this and it's going into this system this hose was coming from that other pump pumping down here it's pumping into the main drum and then it's equalizing into this drum just like i was telling you let me show you okay it's equalizing into this drum you could probably see it a little better if i do this See it down there trickling in? You can't really see it because of that mesh. There you can see it real good. Okay, this will give you a better view. I've already been checking for leaks, no leaks. Everything is good. leaks good all right now i'm about to drain off these other jugs of extra water i had in there too okay we got it done got it all plumbed in so we got it ready for garden watering so now what i'm gonna do is insulate it because it's getting down in the 20s right now and i don't want my pipes to freeze so let's put that on all right you guys that's it got it all sealed up don't want to waste my water now it's time to run this rain gutter got it all set up and ready to go up top you want to see the setup? Y'all be the first ones to see it, huh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what. I... All right. Oh, okay. oh! She sure is pretty, Paul. She sure is pretty. You see it? That hot water, boy. Hot water. 
it's one and about one is 1.3 i always say one and a half I, I don't never uh think about the three but one and a half gallons that's the sea flow water pump with the accumulator tank so it's not as quiet it don't jerk the pipes and everything around you talking about that mug run beautifully off of 36 watts good lord ah oh. And it only run when you cut the water on. Listen how quiet this is. Listen how quiet this is. That's all hot water. Boom. But that is my baby kitchen. And of course... My baby refrigerator, little baby microwave. I don't even use this. I just, something told me, get it anyway. It was on sale for $30. So, you know, that's it. And this is the Led's baby kitchen. And I hooked my wife up a breakfast fit for a queen over here on New Year's. I was so proud. <laughs> 